Let's balance the redox reaction here, Cr2O7 to minus plus SO2 in acidic medium. So the first thing we have to do is write oxidation numbers for each element, and I've done that up here. If you need help, there's a link in the description on how to do that. Once we have the oxidation numbers, we can write the half reactions for each species of interest. Species of interest, those are the things that have changed. Once we've done that, we can balance everything. But let's write the half reactions. So here the chromium, each chromium is plus 6, and over here each chromium is plus 3. So we've gained electrons, so this is going to be reduced. The oxygen, that's being oxidized, and you can see it's gained oxygen, so that makes sense. So first we need to balance each of these half reactions for the atom of interest, the one that changed. So I have two chromiums here, I need to put a 2 here. That's balanced, sulfur, sulfur, that's good. Now we can add H2O to both sides, that'll balance the oxygen atom. Here I have seven oxygen atoms, so I need to add seven water molecules to get the seven oxygens. Down here, I need to add two water molecules, and then that will give me two plus two is four. We have four oxygens here. Now we can add these hydrogen ions, H plus, to balance out the hydrogens. Seven times two is 14, so I need to add 14 hydrogen ions here. That'll balance the hydrogens. Down here, I have 2 times 2 is 4, so let's add 4 hydrogen ions here. We're done with that. Those are balanced. Now we have to balance the charge. So to balance the charge, we add electrons. Up here, I have to think about the total charge. I have 14 plus and 2 minus. So this is 12 plus here in the reactants. 2 times 3 plus is 6 plus. So 12 plus and 6 plus. If I add 6 electrons here, that'll give me a 6 plus total charge over here and 6 plus here. That's good. Here I have a 2 minus on this side and a 4 plus. So I need to add 2 electrons over here and then that'll balance that charge out as well. So we've done all that. At this point we need to balance the overall equation for electrons. So both of the half reactions. Because if you think about it, here in the reactants we have 6 electrons and then over here these are the products. We have two, so that's not balanced. We need to balance the electrons. If we multiply this entire half reaction here by three, two times three would give us six. That would balance the electrons. This three would go to everything here, but we're keeping the ratio the same, so that's okay. So we'll multiply all of this by three. After we do that, we're gonna take our reactants here all together and our products here all together, and we'll have our balanced redox reaction. We'll simplify it then just to finish up. So to be clear here, all of this here, that's this top line, while all of this here, that's the bottom. Reactants and products. So I can see some things that are at the same. I have six electrons in the reactants in the products. We can cross those out. I have 12 hydrogen ions here and 14 here. I'm going to cross these out and change that to 2. 6 water, 7 water. So let's get this out, and this, now we just have 1 water. Let me clean this up. So this is our balanced redox reaction for Cr2O7, 2 minus, plus SO2. If you look at the charge, it's balanced. We have 2 times 1 plus. That's 2 plus and 2 minus. So this is all 0. Here we have 2 times 3 plus. That's 6 plus. 3 times 2 plus, that's 6 minus. These are all zero. Charge is the same on both sides. And if you count the atoms up, they're the same too. That's how you know you've done it correctly. If there's any difference, you've probably done something wrong in one of these steps up here. This is Dr. B with the balanced redox reaction for Cr2O7, 2 minus plus SO2. Thanks for watching.